Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can use the vertical number line to help us estimate um, numbers to the nearest 10. So our learning goal for today says, I can round two digit numbers to the nearest 10 using a vertical number line. So we're gonna start with rounding to the nearest 10. Here is a picture of a beaker that has 73 milliliters of water in it. In order for us to be able to round this number to the nearest 10, we're going to have to be looking at our vertical number line. So here's our vertical number line. We're gonna label the two endpoints, so like a starting point and a stopping point. And then how many tens are in 73? Yes, yeah, seven, which is the same as 70. What's one more 10 than seven tens? Yeah, eight tens, which is equal to 80. So those are my two endpoints when I'm rounding to the nearest 10 for 73. So either I'm going to round to 70 or I'm going to round to 80 for 73. So let's go through and we're going to put in our lines. So we have 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80 at the top. Okay, what is our midpoint on this number line, this vertical number line, what's halfway in between? So think about from seven tens to eight tens, it's really only one ten more. So what's halfway between ten? From zero to ten, what's halfway? Five. So we're really at seventy-five, which is seven tens, five ones. Oh, and don't forget to label your vertical number line as milliliters because that's what unit of measure that we're using for this problem. Okay, so now I'm gonna find 73 on the number line. So I'm gonna start at 70, I'm gonna count up till I get to 73. So 71, 72, 73. Okay, so there's 73, which is the same as seven tens, three ones, that's unit form. Okay, so now my question is, is 73 milliliters more than halfway or less than halfway between 70 milliliters and 80 milliliters? So the way that I can kind of figure this out, friends, is I draw like these little brackets. So in between from all the way from 73 to 80, there's seven spaces. From 70 to 73, there's only three spaces. So that means it's closer to 70 than it is to 80. So we would say that 73 milliliters is about 70 milliliters, okay? All right, so let's do another one to practice. So here's the 38 milliliters in this beaker. So we're gonna start with our vertical number line. You're gonna label your two endpoints, and how many tens are there in 38 milliliters? Yeah, there's three tens, so that's 30. Then one more 10 would be my top of my um, vertical number line, which is four tens, which equals 40. So then you're gonna label your, or place your points in between, so we're going all the way up until we get there. And there is our midpoint on our number line, which is 35, three tens, five ones. Okay, so remember, you're just looking for that middle point. Now we're gonna label 38. So we start at 30 and go all the way up, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So now I have to label that, which is 38 equals three tens, eight ones. Okay, so now we have to say, is 38 milliliters more than halfway or less than halfway between 30 milliliters and 40 milliliters? Remember, I can draw those brackets again. So there's only two spaces in between 38 and 40. And then there's eight spaces between 30 and 38. So which one is it closer to, friends? 30 or 40? Yeah, it's closer to 40. So 38 milliliters is about 40 milliliters. Now notice how I have there bold and underline the word about. That is a key word that tells you that you're rounding or estimating, that you're close. It's not the exact number because 38 would be the exact number. But we're talking about about, so that means it's almost or pretty close to 40 milliliters. All right, so here's our next one. Here's a centimeter ruler, and there are 61 centimeters that we measured using a ruler. But wait, Tag, you're it. It's your turn to practice using 
the vertical number line to be able to estimate 61 centimeters to the nearest 10. So remember, you're going to go through, draw your vertical number line, label your endpoints, label your midpoint, and then find out is 61 centimeters, what is it rounded to the nearest 10? So go ahead and pause the video, draw that out on your whiteboard, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends, if you need more time, make sure you click pause. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so our two endpoints are going to be six tens and seven tens, so 60 and 70. Now we're gonna label our points in between. There's our midpoint at six tens, five ones are 65. So we're gonna start at 60, go up to, oh, there's 61 already. So label it as six tens, one one. And now we have to find out, is it halfway between, which way is it more than halfway or less than halfway between 60 and 61? So there's nine spaces. Oh, and there's only one little space right there. So 61 centimeters is about 60 centimeters. Okay, so did you guys get that one just like I did? Awesome job, rock on friends. If not, just rewind the video just a little bit to watch that view or that model again. Okay, now we're gonna round to the nearest 10 with a clock, okay? So it's gonna be the same strategy that we just did before. The difference is we're talking about minutes this time. Instead of milliliters or centimeters, we're just talking about minutes. So it's gonna be the exact same process that you did last time as we went through. So here's my vertical number line. I have my two endpoints. Well, my number's 25, so how many tens again are in 25? Yeah, two tens, you got it. And then what's one more 10 than two tens? Eight tens, or sorry, three tens, which is 30. Oh, goodness. See, even teachers make mistakes. But anyway, we're gonna move on and persevere through that mistake. And we're gonna label our points in between. We have our midpoint there, which is 25. Now we're going to go through and we're going to say, going all the way up to 25, okay. All right, so now we ask ourselves, is it more than halfway or less than halfway? So here is five spaces and here is five spaces. Oh goodness, friends, it's like right in the middle. Oh my goodness, what do I do? What do you think? Okay, well, let me tell you the rule. Whenever it's exactly halfway between, you're always going to round up to the next 10. Always, always, always. Even though it's right smack dab in the middle, the rule is you have to round up to the nearest 10. So 25 minutes is about 30 minutes long, okay? All right, so good job with that, friends. You guys did an awesome job rounding to the nearest 10. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know and be more than happy to help. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>